Hello everyone, Penny here, and today we're getting started with July the 1st and the Daily Devotions. If you have not checked out the printables, margin art printables for June, please go check them out. All the links will be down below. You can also visit uh, my Facebook groups, Arts Bible Journaling by That's Just Penny, <clears throat> and the all the links will be down below. So if you want the free printables for the margin art, um, they will also be linked down below. Super excited to get June's done. Now we're on July the 1st. If you need a copy of the July 1st, that's also located in my Facebook group. So, Unity of the Spirit. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. And this is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. Our scripture reading comes from Psalms. Chapter 133, and I'm going to get my notebook out and get my Bible out, and I will be studying off camera, but I just wanted to show you that I do have a worksheet that goes with the daily devotion as well, so if you're interested in having the worksheet, I put mine in a binder, and uh, we can start off with July the 1st. It's also a free printable if you are interested, so I will be working in this. And I'll be linking it up in my Bible. This is a illustrated um, study Bible by Holman. King James Version. I just absolutely love this Bible. It is has wonderful um, study notes. And it's large larger print. And it has all the con concordances and cross-referencing. And I just love this. As you can tell, um, I have all my sticky notes. And when I do a devotion, I will use sticky notes to stick in my Bible to correlate with the day. In the devotion and I will also use index cards so those are the two things that I absolutely use when I study also use highlighters okay <clears throat> and I'm just gonna skim through here really quickly um, so that I can see about I'll, I'll tell you about the thought for today when we think that the church is poor and needy we forget that the spirit of intercession can unlock every safe in the world. You will find that all true prophecy will be perfectly full of hopefulness. It will have compassion. It will have comfort. It will have edification. So if anything comes to the church that you know is hurting the flock and serving the assembly, you must see to it that you begin to pray so that this thing is put to death. God will receive edification. The church will begin to build up in the faith and the establishing of truth. And believers will be one. There will be there is one body. Recognize that fact. To keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. So I'm thinking about bond of peace. And I'm thinking about um, what I could do for when you think of peace. What do you think of? You think of birds. And you could do birds in a nest. Different types of birds. You know how they'll come to um, a bird feeder. So you know how like the all the different birds will come to one bird feeder. So that's what I'm thinking about. And what this is talking about. Is is um, David's flock? Um, if someone's giving you a word, and it is not edifying, uplifting, it is not um, does not give you hope, doesn't have comfort or compassion. You may want to rethink about um, believing or trusting in what that that prophetic word is there's a lot a lot a lot of things out there if it does not line up to the word of god then please please reconsider thinking about what was said to you prophesied to you or given to you in some sort of spiritual uh conversation because 
You must make sure that it is of God. And the Bible says to try the spirits and see that they are of God. And if someone does give you a word and it does not leave you, it leaves you confused. It leaves you um, not feeling right or it condemns you or puts you down. Um, please, please remember that there are um, things, there are spirits out there that are not for you. They are of the wrong spirit. Okay. And I'm not saying every thing is but if it's not found in god's word if someone gives you a prophetic word and it's not in god's word it is not based on scripture it does not edify uplift or give you hope then please pray about that okay before you jump in so anyway i'm going to draw a birdhouse i'm going to try my best uh, to draw a birdhouse because i think whenever you think about unity you, you know the birds are coming together in one house and they're eating from the same seeds and things like that so yeah i will get a principle made <laughs> of course uh, i'm gonna take this like on a tree i guess i should shut the, the tree house or a stick or something one of those metal poles maybe we could do okay um so yeah <laughs> We'll do a birdhouse the best that I can do so that you will just see the imagery that I had in mind for a birdhouse. And their little perches. And there's all different kinds of birdhouses. It doesn't have to be a fancy birdhouse. You can draw a birdhouse. Or you can go over and get the principles when I get done. So um, on this little birdhouse and so there we go so there is our imagery for today i will go back and read um, psalms 133 and i will go back and read read the ephesians and work in the workbook as well um and when we think that the church is poor and needy we forget the spirit of intercession can unlock every safe in the world all right that was our thought for today so check out the principles that i will have uh, on July the 1st. Bye everyone. Have a wonderful and blessed day.